What is up guys, Josh here, this is episode 10 of Fight to the Top Flight, and uh, yeah, basically in the last episode we finished that off by winning in the first round of the Silver Online Tournament, and uh, we continue this one by going straight into the quarterfinals against my opponent there, who's mainly got a Brazilian silver team with the odd occasional random nationality, I think he had a Jamaican goalkeeper, a Spanish left back, and uh, there was also an Austrian player in there as well I think, maybe wrong, but uh, I take the lead there after some nice link up play between Bradley Wright Phillips, McNamee and Cucci all involved there, and uh, Bradley Wright Phillips took the lead with his nice little goal, um, but yeah, anyway, um, whenever you come across people who have like Brazilian silver teams, I think people, or just Brazilian teams in general, I think people have <laughs> go into that kind of match thinking that their opponent's just going to try and do skills and stuff, I mean, no one should be forced to play a certain way just because they make a team like that, but I mean, obviously, you're probably going to be frustrated because you, you think they are going to be just trying that kind of like skills, but I, I don't know, I just... I mean, people are probably going to say it's pretty boring to make a team like that if, with, with the skill players. Um, not this guy's team, just other people who like make the ones with the five-star skillers, but just don't try and do any skills. I mean, it's, it's probably a bit boring to actually buy them and then not like do anything with them. But uh, yeah, basically, whenever I play against these people, they're usually the hardest people to play against, and so just go in with the mindset that they're probably going to be pretty sweaty players and don't get frustrated when they're not doing any of the skills. But uh, yeah, anyway, I saw a tweet the other day by um, EA Sports that said when is it acceptable to uh, attempt a tramp goal or basically pass across the goal and uh, some I saw some people say like never and uh, some people like say only if the opponent tries it against uh, them and uh, this is basically like me with um, FIFA 11 I mean I had the mindset that I'd only like play for fun and only like try skill goals all the time so not really like real football but um, FIFA 12 has kind of like made me play at a more competitive level in the sense that um, I, I try and actually win all my games. Not by any means necessary, just that I don't just try and skill all the time. Um, I go in there like trying to win, like basically just trying to like, pass the ball around. Um, you won't ever see me like passing the ball at the back, like if, I've, if I'm winning by a certain amount of goals in the last couple of minutes. I'm not like that. I'm, I'm always trying to attack and I, I wouldn't have fun. I wouldn't feel right myself if I was like passing it around the back. I mean, obviously there's some people who do that, but... I just wouldn't feel right myself if I was doing that, but um, I have a rule, like, if I'll only attempt to, to pass it across goal if someone attempts it against me first, but uh, yeah, you may have saw me, like, buy some players uh, just in the build-up here, I'll put everything in the description as well, you saw me buy Joey Johnson, you saw me buy, who plays for Huddersfield, you saw me buy an Ian Hume, who plays for Preston, you just saw me buy a Bennett, who plays for Sheffield Wednesday as a left-back, and uh, yeah, I'll put all the information about them in the description below of the video, and uh, my opponent there, he had a full Middlesbrough team, um, I don't know. Do you, what do you? What is your guys' opinions on that as well? If you make a full actual team on the game in Ultimate Team, do you think it's lazy? Do you think? Because I know there's people who say they don't have fun whenever they come across people like that. I mean, obviously it's going to be a lot worse if you come across someone who's made a full AC Milan team or a full Real Madrid or Barcelona team for all like the big players like Ibra, Ronaldo, Messi, and whatnot. But it's quite a nice goal there with Chef Kikuchi there, a little mini scissor kick volley. And um, he's turning out to be a bit of a beast player. He's very dominant in the air when it comes to winning headers, and he's got a lot of strength as well. So I'm, I'm loving the fact that I got him in my team here. And this is this goal was actually pretty funny. The way it, I actually tried to clear it, and it, I didn't even actually manage to header it. The ball actually bounced off my defender's head, and he ends up getting the fortunate goal to make it 2-1 there. And um, he actually picked up a bit of the momentum in this game, and you'll see him now just pass it about. And um, I just can't tackle him at the moment. And um, he actually scores a pretty nice goal. I mean. Some shabby defending, well, not too shabby, I mean, it's a bad defending there by me. The way I actually pulled off, I should have gone in for the tackle with the first person, but I changed my defender, and it allowed him to go through and just run past two defenders and managed to score. But uh, luckily for me, I didn't get this, I didn't get um, too over-encumbered, and I managed to actually come back in the last minute of the game, passing it about, just trying to get a feel of the game again, and I'm um, just trying to keep control of the momentum, and I'm doing some nice link-up play between all my players there. You can see Hume just running into the box now, and I wait for him to just come and arrive, cross it in, and I just volley it to make it 3-2. And luckily for me, I actually managed to pick up the winner there, because he had five at the back and he was pretty tough to break down. Usually whenever I come across people who have five at the back, um, I find it really, I, f I don't know, I find that I have a lot of shots and I don't struggle against them, but that guy there was pretty tough to break down. And um, we luckily we win that match and we won the semi-final. And uh, this opponent here, this is the final of the tournament. And he's got a pretty beast team. He's got Fraser Campbell up front, D'Alfonso, two strikers with a lot of pace. He also had Frimpong in defensive midfield, Titus Bramble in defence, and um, he also had attacking midfield. I think it was a Maloney. 
but he had Ox as well as the right midfield, so a pretty beast Brazil, not Brazilian, sorry, a pretty beast silver Premier League squad, and um, I take the lead pretty early in the game here in the 17th minute with Bradley Wright Phillips, and I uh, get the diving header there from the keeper was out, obviously, but uh, Joey Johnson, one of the players that you saw me pick up in when you saw me buy my players, what a shot he has on him, you'll see what I mean later on in this um, match, but um, he has got a cracking long ranger shot and he's got a lot of shot power. I think he can actually take the long range free kicks as well. Don't quote me on that, I'm not sure. I'd have to have to check his stats. But nonetheless, I'm very glad I picked him up for 1,200 coins. Turns out to be a shrewd buy of a shrewd bit of business. And uh, look at here, the way he's just pulling off from uh, from Joey G. Johnson there. And don't do that because if you give him too much space, that is what he's capable of. And that uh, was an amazing long strike there. And Joey and um, yeah, he plays for Huddersfield. I'll put, like I said, I put the, all the information in the description below. And uh, fortunately, there I managed to score that goal with him. And I think that's one of the f not one of the first, but it's the lo first long range we scored in the world because I think the last one was of Akin Fem with one of the other episodes. And we make it 4 0 here now. I bridge him there. I think in the last episode, I was saying I couldn't bridge, and then in this episode here, I actually bridge with Jermaine Johnson. And he brings his keeper out. And I mean, obviously, I could have just passed it across, but I just thought no, I'm just going to shoot with Jermaine Johnson. And I won the tournament 4-0. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I just want to say a massive thanks as well for the support on the last video that we uploaded a couple, that I uploaded a couple of days ago. Um, it's glad that you guys um, are happy with the series again. And uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I'm just going to say peace out now, guys. Peace.